Hi everyone. I want to begin by apologizing for um, canceling the Tiny Gami event at Paper Circle that was supposed to begin today at noon and go till 2 p.m. I was bringing seven mobiles and three frame shadow box pieces as well as there was a planned 20 minute speaking presentation with a short folding workshop. And as much as I had been looking forward to it and everything was all packed and my macrobiotic food was made and packed, I had deep misgivings about coming after watching some news on Thursday evening when I learned that the governor and the state director of health in Ohio had asked for people to cancel events of 100 people or more because of the COVID-19 virus. And even though our event would not have had 100 people, I just had deep misgivings about asking anybody to come and congregate because of it, because there is a risk. And everything that I have read and watched about this virus, the most effective thing we can really do right now is to practice the social distancing where we just don't put ourselves in situations where we could be exposed to it. Because of that, I contacted the gallery and they agreed. And rather than just say, well, it's canceled and nothing's happening, I thought maybe I could put together a virtual presentation in lieu of a personal visit to the gallery. This is it. You've been seeing the pictures of the pieces of work I had planned to bring. What will follow is a video tutorial of how to fold an origami swan. The speaking presentation, though, I realized would take far too long to edit into a video that my very dismal high speed, I say that with air quotes, um, internet would provide, I would never be able to get it uploaded. So the speaking presentation will be as a podcast, and I will link to it in the description of this video. If you would like to hear the inspiration behind the artwork you just saw, and if you would also like to hear the response that I received from the public when I was able to show these pieces back in 2017, the subject was racism, but it wasn't political, and it wasn't to place blame on anyone. It focused much, much more on how do you heal from traumatic events like something that has to do with racism in a way that can lift you up instead of tear you down, not just yourself, but the future generations within your family, because we're all connected. And with that, I'm going to sign off here and go record the podcast. Thank you for stopping by. And I hope to see some of you in person in not the very far distant future. Take care. Bye.